here we are at 821 Park Place, half a block away from the Pearl. Great development that we have coming up. It's actually four, four story homes here. Um, the great thing about this area is if you wanted to own something, it's gonna be older, probably about hundred years old. This, on the other hand, it's a new development. It's brand new, all steel construction, very modern. A lot of tech went into these homes. We're gonna go upstairs, let's take the elevator, go to the fourth floor and meet with Robert Melvin, the developer of the properties. Robert. Bobby, how are you? Excellent, excellent. This is Robert Melvin with Limitless Creations Incorporated. Now he's been doing a lot of great things downtown and surrounding areas. This is one of his projects that, that we're just finishing up. Tell us about the construction. This is not your normal everyday construction, is it? No, oh, it's not. Uh, what we've done is we've taken nine shipping containers. We've removed the interior walls. So the best way to think of it is a steel framed townhome. I want to call it a steel home. Because it, it, it I, I like that. It's more permanent, so you can't hurt it with uh, termites. No. Uh, it's probably more uh, fire resistant. So there's a lot of benefits to steel. Absolutely, absolutely. The way we like to, to look at this type of construction is it's commercial grade. San Antonio has grown uh, into a new market where we're, we're getting a lot of uh, younger buyers that are wanting to live downtown where they can walk and get a beer walk and get a bite to eat. So the entertainment lifestyle is, is becoming more prevalent. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to provide them with an opportunity to not only enjoy the home, but to enjoy all of San Antonio's beautiful skyline. And obviously what's happening at the Pearl is extremely exciting and we wanted to capture that. Absolutely. Well, let's take a look at the house. Let's take a tour of it and let's see what we can see. Absolutely. Let's go. Here we are at the, on the third floor of this, of this home very open. How did you manage to make such an open floor plan? So in utilizing the shipping containers as the framing material for uh, this project, it allowed for us to not have any load bearing walls mm -hmm. on the interior of the structure. So that allows for us uh, to have a, a wide variety of floor plans that we can create. So normally you would have a support column or some kind of a beam, but because we're still, we don't have that. Also what I noticed was a mini split system. So this is very energy efficient. Six zones is what I was reading. Absolutely. Tell me more about that. So we have six zones, a mini split system running off of a five ton air compressor. The energy efficiency is due in no small part to not just the mini split system, but we have a closed cell spray foam insulation, six inches in the wall, which has a higher insulation value. So that means that your, your system is gonna run less, but you'll stay cooler longer, you'll stay uh, warmer longer, and your system's not gonna run as often. Another added benefit, is that it's zone cooling and heating. So if someone is downstairs and they prefer the temperature a little bit warmer than someone upstairs, you can run the system at the same time and both are comfortable. On top of that, your finishes are so high end. Tell me about your upgrades. So some of the things that, that we decided to do were to go after some exotic stones. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a leather faced uh, granite. We included some other technologies such as the induction oven, wine cooler, dishwasher. Now in walking the floor plan, I did notice that the floor plans are very usable. Uh, most of the time when you, when you live downtown, you're downsizing. Not in this situation. I've noticed that you're, the master bedroom is huge, the master bathroom is massive, the walk-in shower. If you have a family of six and want to save water, you can all fit. Yeah, absolutely. So love the floor plan. Love what you did here. This is Bobby Cortez from the Trade Group in San Antonio. We'll see you next time on the American Dream.